it wasn't right and it wasn't lawful. When Natalie Egger moved her family out of this South Surrey home in October 2021, she thought the new owners were moving in. At least, that's what the notice to end her tenancy said. Later that fall, she noticed a new listing for the home. The rent, 70% more than she was paying. Yeah, we were pretty upset because we felt we were wrongfully evicted at that point. Egger filed a formal complaint at the residential tenancy branch and won. The ruling clearly lays out the new owners of the home evicted her family under false pretenses and awarded her more than $33,000, a year's worth of rent. Yeah, it felt really good. Um, we felt like we were owed the compensation that we got. But the win feels more than a little hollow. The RTB doesn't have any means to enforce the order. She now has to go after the homeowner for payment on her own. Her first step, a registered letter demanding payment. Seems like the process in general is very disjointed and I wish it was more seamless. Do you want to hear the biggest load of crap ever? What happened to Egger's family? Not at all unusual. For twice as much that we were paying. She now. posted a TikTok video and was bombarded with people who have similar stories. The government says it has expanded the capacity of the RTB to deal with disputes, but orders need to be settled in the courts. It's a, it's a very typical situation for administrative tribunals. The homeowner now has 15 days to respond to Egger's registered letter. If they don't, then it will be up to her to take the matter further. Either more arbitration or ultimately to small claims court. Aaron MacArthur, Global News.